In this video, I'm going to solder the capacitor um, upgrade boards um, to get them ready to go inside the amplifier. So you need the boards. Um, each board gets four capacitors. Um, even though there's room for six, um, it can only be a maximum of four uh, per board um, when you're using a single Hypex uh, power supply. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my soldering iron here. And okay, solder, solder. Okay, and I always like to solder the connectors first and then do the caps. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. Again, I'm using a pretty big tip here because this board does have a lot of copper. Uh, and we want to have very good solder flow into the barrels of the um, into the barrel of the holes um, that the connector pins and the capacitors go through okay and not to have cold solder joints okay that's one All right, now for the capacitors, um, um, the negative side of the capacitor is indicated uh, by the white lines next to the um, hole where the capacitor plugs in. So here's the negative side of the cap. The negative side of the cap is also always the uh, shorter lead that is on it. So I'm gonna put in the four caps. Okay, and <clears throat> um, I leave the two in the middle blank. And like this, and then Make sure that the capacitors are um, flat with the surface of the board uh, before you solder the uh, <clears throat> before you solder the pins. What I like to do is I also like to apply a little pressure to the top, and that way it ensures that the capacitor is flat uh, with with the bottom of it. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, the capacitors are soldered. 
I'm gonna pause the video for a minute while I do the second board and then show the cleanup. Okay, so here I have both boards soldered. I'm going to use uh, wire cutters to um, cut the leads from the caps down. Uh, uh, so that, um, you know, they're too long and they're, um, you want to make sure they don't short anything when these are put on top of the amplifier boards, which will be seen in a different video. Um, once all the leads are cut, um, I'm going to clean the solder flux from the back of the boards um, using ethyl alcohol pad, okay? Because uh, I use solder with, the, with a flux core, so there's flux already in it, so you don't need flux separately. It makes uh, things much easier. Uh, however, the that flux does need to be cleaned off, whether you use flux separately or you're using solder um, with flux already in it, okay? All right, and we have capacitor upgrade boards ready to go.